Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Um, we are back with another exclusive preview. Um, we'll start our um, video in a couple minutes, so just hang in there. Drop a like on the video. Let us know you're here in the comments. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying your Tuesday night. Raphael, I'll tell you, um, there is no Barons in this pack, so you're good. You're good. <laughs> Why didn't they ship to Puerto Rico? That should just be U.S. mail. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, it is. Well, is it more expensive, though? I think it's still more expensive. It is slightly more expensive, but... I mean, I could ship to Guam, a hat to Guam for four bucks. I should be able to ship to Puerto Rico. Yeah. Oh, this is a, this will be a cool live. I wanted to um, do this one live. Probably give a different spin here. We got USA Cap King. They're dropping um, these eight hats t uh, tomorrow. So tomorrow. yeah, tomorrow at one p.m. So so I figured it'd be better. Like let's, let's do something that's a little more like in the moment. So like you know you see them now, and you'll be able to buy them tomorrow at one. But I think I think this is a, a pretty pretty good pack. Raphael is going to be have have people hitting up his DMs. So and Lavar, I agree. This hat does, Jason. This hat does have like sneaker town vibes to it. Oh yeah, it's got a Miami feel, so makes sense. You know what would be a cool colorway on this though? I don't know if you guys remember the game in 2018 with the Patriots, the Miami Miracle. It's basically where they kept like just reversing the like just. Reversing the ball, and they ended up beating the Patriots in 2018. Okay. It would be cool to do this in a Miami Dolphins colorway. Ooh, sure. Call it the Miami Miracle. You know? I'm having a great evening, Souls. Thank you for joining us. I was sitting in a parking lot for an hour. So this is Doing better what? than that. You were? Yeah. Damn. Doing what? Basketball. Uh, Practice. Mm. It's too. It's too far away to drive home. No, yeah, I get. So yeah. I just sit there. Is it cold out there? It's cold. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's gotta the car be. was running the whole time. So. Oh damn! Car before burn, burn, burn all that gas too. <laughs> Today's finally started. It's starting to get cold here now. It's finally starting. Like it. We've got some cold moments, but it's been like fifties here, which is weird. It was. It's... It was great until about noon today. And then mm. the wind picked up, and then we got some snow. It was interesting. Cool. Do you you remember how hot it was last year when we were in LA, like mid? Oh no! Uh, yeah, it was like yeah. ninety seven degrees. Yeah, it it was not hot this time around. I mean, it was hotter than here, but it wasn't. Mm. It was, most of the time it was like sixties, I think. Yeah, Jose, I can't go inside. They locked the doors. Otherwise, I would. Did I see the crazy metallic Blue Jays with the brown crown? Uh, that one with the pink bottom, I think. Brown and black. That was last week's hat. That was a beautiful hat. Get a few more minutes, right, guys? Get it to about 904, 905. We'll get started here. Get some more people in here. Mm -hmm. We have some good stuff planned. We got this, and then we've got a My Fitted's uh, exclusive preview not you know not seen yet so that'll be filmed tonight and then mm -hmm. um there's so much more coming man i mean we're just so busy now yeah this is the first time us three's been on for a while right yeah because yeah. i was you were in colorado oh. right. well no i we've done some well yeah the three of us yeah it's been a long yeah. time since the three of us have been together yeah right it's always been somebody missing <laughs> right yeah. yeah it's been like two weeks yeah it's crazy. Yeah, it's been a while. But we've been doing yeah. this for so long. We're over a thousand videos now, guys. Yeah. It just shows you how much stuff we record in a week because I can miss a week, but then the videos get spread out for so long. I know. <laughs> like I'm not there, right? Where is he? It's the same yeah. two days, man. It's like yeah. it's everyone's same, wearing the same shirt. Relax, people. <laughs> I wear the same. So, so people wonder, I think, why I don't wear like anything other than black you know than, than plain shirts on the show most of the time i just wear a plain shirt because i can change my hat and it looks different enough yeah. and then it looks different enough you know because yeah. if you if you're trying to match your shirt to your hat too often it becomes too difficult mm -hmm. yeah but this friday we'll have uh 
we'll have two guests and us three, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then Style will be the moderator. That's six Correct. people. Holy cow. It's going to be busy. Yeah, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Style, style better keep his mouth shut then. Keep the yeah. show moving along. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mel. Now we're, uh, we're doing all kinds of good stuff, right? We're fighting trolls. We're presenting hats. I mean, we're doing stuff all day long, every day. Mm-hmm. Uh, hats dropping in stores. Hats dropping on the Discord. Hats dropping to the Vault Club. We got a still drop coming soon. Mm-hmm. We're following Jason. Jason dropped a, a password yesterday on Cyber Monday. That was pretty cool. People still complained, but you know. Oh yeah, they did. <laughs> what can you do? Well, Try to give them something. Might be the complain. last time I drop a password. Yeah, I saw yeah. that instantly. Oh my god! Oh my god! god. Yeah. Was, I don't have a lot of hate on mine when I do it, man. I, I did it. It, twice. it was that. It was that. Uh, Paris the Cubs. Fashion Week Cubs. Yeah. And it just flew, and people were all pissed off. So everyone hated Kanye too. Yeah, I thought so. They don't like they don't hate the way he dresses. Apparently, my favorite Marvel MILB was is the El Paso. Yeah, that one's good. That one's that one's really good. There were some good ones. I like the uh, Greenville Drive one. Kind of plain, but Bison's not bad. Bison's was good. There was one Pierre post that I've never even seen that logo. It's the, of the dude, red and black. I think it was like a man. Uh, Rochester, I think. But either way, you you bought one that I hadn't even seen, like because they've been posting the, the logos. Yeah, oh, every Cowboys, so often. Yeah. It wasn't the Space Cowboys. You were talking about Rochester, I think. The Rochester Red Wings. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that sounds right. The bird bird mask. Yeah. All right, you guys ready to get started here? You bet. Let's, let's do All it. right, let's go. Uh, welcome to the vault, everyone. Um, we will be conducting an exclusive preview. Uh, USA Cap King has a minor league uh, drop, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Pierre, take away. So first, um, you want to take you want to take everyone through who uh, who created the hats, Leon? Yeah. So this this pack was done by a young fella named uh, Brandon Banks. Uh, he goes by the Instagram handle underscore It's Just Different double underscore. Um, yeah. This looks like his um, repeat. Like he's done some stuff with USA Cap King before, so uh, mm-hmm. he's bringing you this whole clip of uh, minor league goodness. So hope you guys enjoy this. And yeah. So why don't we put his uh, his Instagram handle in the in the comments at least, and then we can get so it's there um, to kind of to kind of highlight that. And Jason, what were you gonna say? And I, I was just say Leon will put his government name and address in the description of the video later. I didn't even say his last name. <laughs> put his social, social. Put his social in there. Yeah. You know? We put it all, you know, but we'll go through it. So it's an eight, it's an eight cap pack. I know a lot of our um, core fans are, um, are big, uh, are big fans of MILB. So um, it'll be fun to kind of go through these. And uh, Jason, uh, you're going to help narrate a little bit. Leon, you can check in here and there. And then what we'll do is uh, you guys can, you know, maybe pick your three favorites. I'll rank them mm. from uh, eight to one. I better take some notes. Then. How's that sound guys? Sounds, that good. sounds great. All right, so you ready to get started here? Yes. We are. All right, so all these have side patches, which are pretty cool. Um, mm-hmm. so Everett Aqua Sox. Oh, yeah, look Ooh. at this logo, man. I have this on an old West. school Lids hat. Yeah. Oh, that Northwest League side Northwest patch. That's pretty cool. Patch. Okay, that is good. Clean two-tone, gray under. Like it. Good button color. Hmm. This is a winner. Hard to beat that one. Solid early hat. Favorite. Early favorite. Wait, can you show that Betterman again? Yeah. He was able to do the guy in a different color than the outline. Oh, that's because the better the MILB has two different threads in that guy. I forgot about that. Yeah. All right. That's the first one, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. The Sea Wolves from Erie, Pennsylvania. So that Eastern League uh, side patch. I'm familiar with the Eastern League because when I was a kid, that's where the New Britain Red Sox played. The Eastern it's not league. a bad patch. No, no this is not a bad league. league patch at all. No. I like that one. It's going heavy black on the uh, the baddies. Batterman outlines, yeah. White guts, okay. All right. Nice looking hat, man. This is nice and clean as well. Yeah. I started reorganizing my uh, hats again. And I oh. have uh, 
two stacks of maroon hats. So I'm probably good on that one. Dude, I'm probably <laughs> you know what's interesting too? I probably have uh twenty two hundred minor league hats now. Jeez. Yeah. Wilmington Blue Rocks of the Carolina League. Now this is a black brim, just so you guys know too. Black brim. Now this is Wilmington, Delaware, not Wilmington, North Carolina. A little confusing there. Even yes. though it's the Carolina League. Yep. Let's get the Tar Heel colors too. This is our president's favorite team. Nice, right? Mm-hmm. It's nice, nice and clean. And this is another nice side patch. This is a good looking side patch. I like that color. Some of their minor league uh league patches. Some of their minor nice. league like league patches are pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a lighter tone than olive. Would you call that olive? Probably rifle. Uh it's light. It's more it's more olive. Okay. Rifle's a little bit darker. Darker, sure. right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's Leon. It's darker. Just a really get it. Olive. I just uh, mocked no because I just mocked up a hat that's olive and rifle. That's why. True story. Can you would say Cap King is definitely uh getting stronger and stronger by the week. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's a good ass hat. All right, this is one of my favorite minor league logos of all time. I think you guys will agree too. And probably the best uh league side patch from the minors. Sure. Tennessee Snakes. That's a good one. That, that logo is so good because you got the raised, the the lettering's raised, and yep. the outline's raised too. And this oh. is uh, the first time I saw this logo used really well was my fit. Is remember my fit is as part of their gum pack. Gum pack, yeah. You guys remember? Uh -huh. um, they did. I think it was the uh, winter green uh, was done with this logo, um, nice. but then you saw it popping up elsewhere. Uh, he did it again. I mean, this is probably one of the coolest minor league logos there is. Um, spoil that and the colorway is good too, man. And this is okay. This button violation doesn't bother me. I don't know about you, Jason, but because it's a black crown, it's very dark, it doesn't really bother me as much. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, it bothers me. I'm, I'm beginning, I'm, I'm like borderline OCD with it. <laughs> doesn't bother me. I mean, it's less egregious for sure. It doesn't even, it doesn't even yeah. draw attention to that when it's a dark hat like this. Mm -hmm. Gray under, clean hat. Yeah. Oh, shit, I forgot to take notes. Damn it. <laughs> Brooklyn Cyclones. Brooklyn Cyclones. Oh, that's that's Jose's favorite team. Is it? Well, it's his closest team. So yeah, he actually goes to the game. What you get can get to, yeah. Yeah. That, that's cool, too. Yeah, this is good. What color is that, Leon? Mm, probably sky blue. Or is it blue tent? Nah, sky blue. It's like powder blue. Okay. Yeah. All right. Three more to go, guys. Yes. Gradenton Marauders. Cord brim. Ooh, Ooh cord brim. Okay. He's got that Florida State League. You can tell that cord brim right there because of the... Yeah. The overlap. Okay. These are like, like team colors, too. Mm -hmm. This has got this is this got real pirates vibes to it. This is a nice uh -huh. hat. Another good league patch. Like me, good eye patch. Yeah, Leon, right, Leon guys. loves. He's got an eye patch fetish, so you know he's going after that one. All right, Hickory. This one is smooth, man. Yeah, we. You know how I feel about crustaceans. Mm-hmm. Check South Atlantically. South Atlantically. Okay. That's a cool patch. Yeah. For like a 60s era logo, too. That's not bad. This is nice, man. This is going to be tough. This is gonna All right. Tough. Last but not least, my favorite uh, minor league uh, logo right now. Ooh. Yard goats. Yeah, yard goats. All blue. Ooh. I mean, all black. Okay. Pink under. That. Pink under. That Eastern League side patch with some pink in there. You got some green in there too that kind of hooks up to the green in the goat's beard. Okay. Nice, man. What's the baddie look like? Ooh, okay, a little okay. pink and black. All right. Get on board on that. 
That's the pack, guys. This is tough. Yeah. Kind of hard to rank them, right? Yep, it really is. Listen, this this young man did a good job. You know, USA Cap King did a great job kind of putting this together. We can't ever underestimate. Like, we can't rely too much on just designers, right? Because the, the folks that do the hats are part of the equation, but you need a great rep at New Era. You need a great yes. store owner that can kind of navigate this stuff. Mm -hmm. It takes a team effort to make something nice like this, and this pack is really solid top to bottom. So those are the eight hats, guys. I want you each to pick your three favorites. Leon, and you I want everyone out there, too. Like, pick your favorites, guys. Get uh, Hit that like button. Pick your favorites. What were your favorites of the eight? And I'll start with uh, who's starting. I'll let you guys kind of fight it I, out. I'll start. I'll start. Okay. So the first two I'll pick, um, I'm going to go with the first impression and the last impression. So the, the Everett Aqua Sox and the uh, Hartford Yard Goats made lasting impressions on me. So those two. And then I will pick the uh, Smokies. Hmm. Nice. That's probably the best uh, combo from front and side patch, I would say. Probably. Maybe. Nice, I don't know. It's a good combo. This is nice. Yeah. The, the black works well with the dark green. That's your clip there. All right, Leon. Jason Mead, how about you? Uh, yeah. Um, I Go ahead and keep keep up the uh, Everett Aqua Sox. Because that's, that's a winner to me for sure. This thing's beautiful. Yep. Um, and then give me... I'm going a little different. I like the colors, so I'm going Erie Seawolves. Okay. That's a good one. Yeah. Yep, yep. And that that Eastern League patch looks really nice in those colors. Mm-hmm. And then give me the uh, the first first team, the Wilmington Blue Rocks. Wow, all right. Yeah, I love that Rockies logo. Yeah, it's nice. I think that's the first minor league logo I ever bought. Mm. All right. So I'm going to go eight to one. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. My number eight. Okay. The Brooklyn Cyclones. Solid hat, though. Solid. These are all, dude, they're all solid. Yeah. Okay. Number okay. seven. All right. Again, these are all solid. Jason's going to think I'm picking on him. You always do. <laughs> no, I'm not picking I, on him. I don't him. think it. I know it, Pierre. Okay. I love the cord brim on it, but I don't know. I think the next uh, the next five are better. Yeah. Solid. Mm -hmm. Solid hat. I really do like it. I like the colors, too. Mm -hmm. Olive looks really nice with that powder blue and stuff in black. It, it looks really good. It's a good, co go good color combo. I'm then going to go here. Yeah. This thing is clean and simple. It's, it, I love the red. I love the, I love the powder blue. I, I just like this. I like that side patch, too. I thought mm -hmm. if, if I was going to pull a Leon, that would have been my number four. For me, give me the yard goats. I, I I love you guys both know how much I love the yard goats. Uh -huh. The logo, just beautiful. Number two for me, I'm going Smokies. Clean hat. Mm -hmm. Number one. Wow. Was that your number one too, Leon? This reminds mm -hmm. me of an old Oakley logo. Do you guys remember? Um, the jackets. Uh, what's that? Is it the windbreakers people used to always wear? Yeah, but they had a uh, remember the frog the frog skins or something. I forgot what the name oh, of the yeah. Was. Yeah. It kind of gives me that well. vibe with the frog on there and stuff. Mm -hmm. I like the yeah. colors. It kind of it's kind of like a 90s sort of feel to it. Yeah. You know? O Oakley's man. That was the thing to have back in high school. Oh no, of course they were. Listen, this is a good pack, man. It really is. Brandon did a nice job. They really did a nice job, and again, it takes a team to create something like this, and they and they they came together and did something really cool. Um, I'd love to hear from everybody out there. What was your favorite? Yeah, 
it's kind of, it's kind of refreshing too. It's like not a a pack that's like forced hooks or anything like that. Like you can just yep. enjoy what you see. Judge seen it on a lot of aqua socks. Um, seen a lot of smokies. Mm. Um, Leo agrees with me that moose is gorgeous. <laughs> I'm surprised Leon didn't didn't like the moose more since it's his national animal. <laughs> I, I, have, I have a bunch with that moose, too. though. I have a bunch with that moose. I have all like... mine are like sky blue, though. So it'd be nice to get a green one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Up here, you had a question come in from uh, Cam Jones. If you uh, like the Seattle that dropped today, I did. From my fitteds, I did. I mean, it's listen. Like we're in a world of all this. I don't know. It's like it feels like vanilla and stuff. And every th- now and then, something that's different on the eyes is always good. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I, I Absolutely. think like that logo. He's using some weird logos and stuff, man. And I mean, like, I, I'm into that. I'm in the minor league right now. Yeah. It, uh, New Era has a tartan undervisor collection coming out. Mm. Um, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting pumped about that. And s- people are like ripping me apart today. I'm like tartan. Okay. Yeah. Like it's different. Yeah. I'm okay with it, man. Yeah. I'm okay with it. I like different. Well, listen, this was good. I want to thank USA Cap King for giving us an opportunity to show these off. Brandon, you did a great job, so thank you for that. Yeah. And I don't want to um, spoil too many surprises, but be on the lookout. There's more coming from USA Cap King, and um, and and it's good stuff. I, I'm looking down at it right now. But uh, first things first. So, uh, guys, enjoy this. This drops tomorrow, 1 p.m., USA Cap King. If you're seeing this tomorrow night, um, well, oops, may have missed it. I don't know. Like, I, I really do think some of these are going to fly. Uh, but you know, either way, um, head over to USA Cap King tomorrow at 1 p.m. I'll also post pictures on the Instagram tomorrow morning, uh, on the views in the vault Instagram so you can get a better look at them, um, you know, in, in, in picture form. But with that, Leon, big fella, take us away. Yeah. Make sure you guys are dropping a like on the video. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, also follow USA Cap King for future release information uh, for Jason, Leon, and Pierre. We're signing out, guys. Stay fitted. See you, everybody. Peace.